Hey everybody, it's Chris. And today I wanted to talk to you about my first pan pastel project. And I had done a demo a couple weeks before, so you can check that out. Um, but I was really excited to bring this to you and show you the whole process and talk to you about the battle that I faced, um, the war that I fought on the battlefield of art um, to get this done. But let me ask you a question. What keeps so many of us from doing what we long to do? Why is there like a naysayer within some voice that says, you can't do this, you can't accomplish it? Um, how can we avoid roadblocks that come up? They inevitably do. And so what do we do? How do we create the proper mindset for creative success? Well, some of these things uh, are topics covered in the book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And he asks a really great question, or he makes a statement. He says, the more important a call to action is on our soul, the more resistance we feel toward pursuing it. Wow, that word resistance is key there because he goes on to explain the resistance is the unconscious part that acts against our conscious desires and sabotages our work. So what's the main antidote to this? Well, before we get into that, I wanted to talk about how on this project, it took me about four days to complete it and to make the recording but somehow <laughs> I accidentally deleted half the files of the recording in the video process. Just deleted them. I don't know how. They're gone. Man, that was a real bummer. And <clears throat> so I made this huge mistake and I tried to retrieve the files. I invested in some software tried to get them back, <clears throat> tried that for a few days while <clears throat> the software scanned my external hard drive, couldn't find them. So I thought I'd take a little risk and just go with what I had and talk about failure, talk about the war of art, and talk about taking risks. So, you know, I just realized finally that I had to move on <clears throat> that it was okay that I'll make another video and try again and I was reminded of some quotes on failure that are my favorites and I wanted to share them with you one is failure doesn't mean I don't have what it takes it just means I must do things differently next time okay yeah like don't delete your files good one Another one is, failure doesn't mean I've wasted my time. It just means I have a reason to start over. Wow, absolutely. I sure do have a reason to start over. And I think embracing that is the best course because I was just fighting it and denying it and stewing over the fact that I lost these files and that I lost all this time and I couldn't put out another video. But it's not true. I can turn that over and turn it into some a learning experience for me and hopefully you can glean something from my failure and mistakes. And the last one I wanted to share is failure is never final. That's true. It's never final. You can always get up one more time and keep moving. As long as you get up that one more time, you'll never fail. So these pan pastels are awesome. And like I said, I did a little unboxing demo you can check out, but actually painting with them, it's really like using oil paint. They mix really well on the paint surface. I have a number of different applicators from small to medium to quite large sponges. And um, it was all pretty, Pretty easy, pretty intuitive, 
and um, much better than pastel sticks that tend to crumble and they're big and bulky and it's hard to sharpen them. But these past pen pastels with their applicators can really get into the small spaces. So I basically did um, the pencil drawing and then I laid in like a base color, which you can see me doing now. Um, and then I worked back in for a lot of the details with colored pencil. So that was the process there. But I wanted to get back to this point about resistance <clears throat> and that idea that something that's really important to me that I want to do, I know I should do, the moment I go for it, all these kinds of things come up. Like, I get tired, gotta eat, want to go to the bathroom, <laughs> whatever it is, mistakes, phone calls, um, feelings, internal struggles that, uh, you know, I'm not good enough, can't do it, this is a waste of time, all that kind of stuff. So that idea that there are forces that are going to oppose you in this and you've got to know that so the main antidote to this resistance that Stephen Pressfield talks about is acknowledging that the creative process is a job creativity is a job that must be respected and diligently worked at that's the key to everybody that I know who's successful is the simple key is working hard and moving forward diligently. And it's not stardom, you know, it's not that you're flashy and charismatic and all that stuff. That's just icing. That's the top layer. but. The real foundation is just working and mastering the basics, knowing your craft and working on your visual library and your tools. If your visual library is strong, then um, your drawings, your, your realizations of your visions will be better. And if you master the foundations, then really conceiving your ideas will be that much more within your reach. To basically, to win this war on the battlefield of art, we definitely need to know a couple things. And one is we need to know we're in a fight. That's crucial because most of us don't know. We just think we're being opposed and life sucks and all these things happen to us, but they happen to everyone. So second is we need to know our enemies. If we know our enemies, we can face them when they come up. That's key. Thirdly, we need to know that we have allies. Man, what a relief that we do have weapons in this warfare of art. And those are definitely our foundation um, and practicing our skills. And fourth, we need to make a plan to win. We have to have a plan. If we know we're in a fight, we know our enemies, we know our allies, but we don't have a plan, then the chances that we're going to win still grow smaller. And even if we have a plan to win, the fifth point is we have to do the plan. Okay, so this is really comes all together. All these pieces fit together. Um, for us to help us succeed, right? No one key is good on its own. They're a key in combination that opens the lock. Okay, and I think these are really worth talking about and I definitely like to talk about it more and expand on these points. Um, so you can see here, back to the piece, I'm adding I've added the base, mostly in pan pastel, and then I'm going in and detailing the, the rest in colored pencil. 
and it's really coming out cool. I was loving it and just working hard every day. So let me encourage you not to be discouraged when you meet um, these obstacles on the battlefield of art. Know you're in a war and you can make it. Work hard. I'm going to expand on these points in my upcoming videos, but um, in the comments below, give me some of your takeaways from this video. What helped you? And how do you come back from your failures? And share that with the community below in the comments section. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe, and I hope you, this video helped you and I hope you enjoyed my art as well. All right, everybody. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.